Welcome to the another video of Bot Penguin. Today we will talk about how to create a WhatsApp bot using Bot Penguin. So firstly, you will be going to app.botpenguin.com. There you will be getting options to select the platform. You will be clicking on the WhatsApp chat bot. Yes, then they will be asking, yes, you are ready to create the WhatsApp bot. You will fill your details, which is here. You will choose the category. You will apply a logo here. You will give some description about it. Just put your email address and fill all these details. Then the main part. He will ask you that do you have the API key? So to create a WhatsApp bot, an API key is the main feature that you require. If you are having that API key from any of the business provider, then it's well and good. So if you are not having, then you can send us a request to provide you an API key. If you are having an API key, then click on yes. It will be asking that who is your API provider? Are you having it from 360 dialog? Are you having it from Netcore or from cloud? Just select your ones and fill the details. It will ask you main three details. One will be the WhatsApp business account ID. One will be the phone number ID and one will be your access token. So to grab these all things, you need to have an API key from any of the provider or if you are not having any provider, you have to go to facebook.com and you have to generate it for yourself. So now we will be discussing with how to create your business account on Facebook if you have not created yet. So firstly, you have to go to the domain name that is business.facebook.com. It will be opening a meta business suit for you where you will be managing all of your business related to the ads, related to WhatsApp and related to your plans, page and posts. When you will be clicking on this, you will be logging to this meta business suit. Here you have to see on the left hand side, this is an option to create a business account. You will be clicking on it and will be filling these simple details. After creating your business account, it will be asking you to connect a business Facebook page. So whatever business Facebook page you want to connect, you will be clicking on that and you will move proceed. It will be asking that, do you want to add another person as admin or as a manager to your business? So if you want, then you will be clicking the email address for the same person and giving them the access so that you want him to be the employee or you want to give them the access as the admin one. If you are not, if you are the alone person who is managing your business, then you can skip this part. So when you have created your business account, you will be seeing that here a business account will be reflecting with the same name. To move with the creation of your API key, you firstly have to click on this settings. Then you will be moved to this page where as a prerequisite, you have to firstly fill your business info. For filling that, you have to go to the business settings and then to the business info. You will be just filling these of all of the details with the name of the business, country, street address, town, city, state, code, business phone number, website, your website can be either, if you are not having any website, then you can put the address of your Facebook page, your Facebook profile, your LinkedIn profile, or your Instagram profile. So in here section, the link should be, which is reflecting the same business for which you have created the business WhatsApp account. Then after filling all these details, you have to verify your email address here also. You will be editing here 
and we'll be filling the email address here. After filling all these details, then you have to move to the developer's account for the Facebook where you will be creating your API. As mentioned before, we need three main major components to create your API. One is your phone number ID, one is your WhatsApp business account ID, and one is your permanent access token. To get the first two things, that is your phone number ID and your WhatsApp business account ID, you have to go to developers.facebook.com and you have to create an app there. If you have already created that app, then you just have to add a product named WhatsApp there. So for creating your phone number ID and the WhatsApp business account ID, you need to create an account on developers.facebook.com. When you will land up here, you have to go to get started and then you have to just fill out the simple details for yourself. If you want to receive the marketing related emails from the meta, then you will be clicking on this agree part. Otherwise, you can leave it here. Confirm your email address. Register yourself as the owner or the founder of the business. Just complete this registration part and you will then have your account on developers.facebook.com that is meta for developers. So to move further with creating your phone number ID and the WhatsApp business account ID, you have to create an application here. You have to create it with the other. Then you have to click on business because this is a category where you will be finding your API that is already mentioned here. Just create this app name. It can be any name that will help you to recognize that this is your app for this particular business. Then you have to choose the business account that you have created previously into the business.facebook.com using the meta business suit. Then just simply click on create app. While creating this app, make sure that you know the password that you have set up for your Facebook account. Fill that password here and then submit the request. When you will create your app, on the dashboard of your application, you will see the various products that are listed out here. You are having the work with WhatsApp because you are going to create your API for the WhatsApp. So you have to click on the WhatsApp which is listed down below. Then you have to click on the setup. When you will be clicking on the setup part, you will see that your WhatsApp is added as a product on your dashboard. Then you just have to click on continue. You can start using the API. Then this is the main page where you will be getting your phone number ID and the WhatsApp business account ID. When you will be adding your number here, so it will be providing you the phone number ID for your phone number. 
and the WhatsApp business account also for your particular number. To add the number, you have to go to the fifth step and you have to add the phone number here. While adding your phone number, you have to put the name which will be displayed as the business name on your WhatsApp business profile. Then you just have to fill the details for the business website or you have to provide the domain name for the business website or a profile page that is showcasing your business. You can either put a detail for your profile page of Facebook or Telegram or LinkedIn or your Instagram profile also. After filling these details, you will be asked to select a time zone and the category of your business. Do choose your business category with very sincereness because Meta will be judging you on the behalf of your category of the business to give you a verification. Then this is the crucial part where you have to put more attention. Because while creating or while verifying your business number, you have to look up under the prerequisite that has been mentioned above. Just provide your number here and make sure that number is not registered on any other WhatsApp business. If your account will be existing one and if it is having a WhatsApp that is activated, then it will be asking you to delete it, delete that account and you have to wait for four to five minutes to reactivate it. As shown that this is a number which is already having a WhatsApp account on the WhatsApp. So it is not allowing me to create an API key for the same. So to make sure that you are not having any WhatsApp account active on this number, whichever you want to convert into the API. When you have verified your number from the developers.facebook.com, then your number will be displayed here in the place of test number. Then you just have to copy your phone number ID and your WhatsApp business account ID because you, have, you are going to need it for the further steps. Just copy it from here and write it somewhere else. When you got your credentials for the phone number ID and the WhatsApp business account ID, you are needed to go back to the Meta Business Suite into the business settings and create a system user. Here it is not created any system user because it is your new account, then you are needed to create a system user. It will be asking that you should accept the discrimination policy from the Facebook. Then place this name as a username for your WhatsApp. And give it as a role of admin. When your system user will be created, you will be seeing a BP WhatsApp name there, which will having the admin system access. So now we are ready with all the three details, our phone number ID, our WhatsApp business account ID, and our permanent token. Fill all these details into the bot penguin account, and now you are integrated with the WhatsApp bot. So this is all from our side in this video. If you are having any of the queries, then do reach us at contact at the rate or drop your comment in the comment section. Thanks and have a great day.